Imagine a valley, vast and desolate, stretching beyond sight, blanketed with the bleached remnants of life long lost. This is no ordinary valley. This is a place of deep mystery and profound prophecy, a canvas for a tale that transcends time. Welcome to the enigmatic world of Ezekiel chapter 37, a chapter in the Bible that has captivated and mystified scholars, believers, and seekers alike. In this exploration, we journey into the heart of a vision granted to Ezekiel, a prophet exiled in the land of Babylon. His homeland, Jerusalem, lies in ruins, and the Jewish people are cloaked in despair. Yet, in this abyss of hopelessness, Ezekiel is bestowed with a vision so powerful, it echoes through the ages. As we delve into this ancient text, we unravel the layers of Ezekiel's vision of the dry bones. Picture the scene, a valley scattered with countless dry bones, symbols of desolation and forgotten lives. But then, something extraordinary happens. At Ezekiel's prophetic call, these bones stir. They rattle and rise, forming skeletons, sinews, and flesh, reborn as a mighty army, infused with new life. This spectacle is not just a resurrection of bones, but a beacon of hope and renewal. The wind from the four directions, the mysterious sound of rattling, the very act of these bones standing up, each element brims with symbolism. But what do they signify? Is this merely a tale of bones and flesh, or is there a deeper, hidden truth waiting to be discovered? In our journey, we venture beyond the literal, exploring the historical context of this vision. For the Jewish people in exile, this was a promise of national restoration, a beacon of hope for the resurrection of their faith and identity. Yet, the vision of Ezekiel transcends its immediate context. It speaks of individual resurrection, of the promise of eternal life. It portrays a spiritually dead society, yearning for the breath of life from God. It foreshadows a future where Israel is restored, shining as a light to the nations. In our journey, we venture beyond the literal, exploring the historical context of this vision. For the Jewish people in exile, this vision was more than a fantastical dream. It was a promise of national restoration, a beacon of hope for the resurrection of their faith and identity. This promise held the vision of a people, scattered and broken, coming together to form a nation once more. But the vision of Ezekiel transcends its immediate context. It speaks not only of a collective rebirth but also of individual resurrection, of the promise of eternal life. It portrays a society spiritually lifeless, yearning for the divine breath to be breathed into it, signifying a deep and profound spiritual awakening. The vision also foreshadows a future where Israel is restored, shining as a light to the nations. This aspect of the prophecy is seen by many as having a significant historical fulfillment in the events of 1948, with the establishment of the modern state of Israel. This event, seen by numerous scholars and observers as a pivotal moment, is often interpreted as a physical and spiritual rebirth of the Jewish nation, resonating deeply with Ezekiel's vision. However, the narrative does not end there. In the chapters that follow, namely Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39, we encounter the prophecy of the Gog-Magog War, a conflict involving a coalition of nations against Israel. This prophecy has been the subject of much interpretation and speculation, especially in light of current global events. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine and the tension between Israel and Hamas have led some to draw parallels with the Gog-Magog prophecy. While it is important to approach these interpretations with caution and discernment, it is undeniable that such conflicts raise significant questions about the nature of prophecy and its relevance to contemporary geopolitical events. As we delve deeper into these chapters, it becomes clear that the vision of Ezekiel holds layers of meaning, some tied to specific historical events, others more allegorical, speaking to ongoing spiritual and moral struggles. The prophecy encourages a reflection on the nature of hope, redemption, and divine intervention in the affairs of nations. But there's more. We will uncover an untold truth, focusing on a specific, enigmatic aspect of the vision. Delving deeper into biblical and historical evidence, we uncover layers of interpretation that bring Ezekiel's vision into sharper focus. This exploration is not just about the past, it's a journey into the heart of hope, restoration, and the divine power to revitalize what seems irrevocably lost. At the core of Ezekiel's prophecy is the theme of resurrection, not just in a physical sense, but in a spiritual and national context as well. This vision, seen through the lens of history, aligns closely with the experiences of the Jewish people. Their story is one of repeated displacement and persecution, yet marked by remarkable resilience and renewal. The vision of the dry bones coming to life mirrors the historical rebirth of Israel, particularly in the aftermath of the Holocaust culminating in the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948. 
This event was seen by many as a literal fulfillment of the prophecy, a nation reborn against all odds. But the interpretation goes beyond historical events. It speaks to the spiritual rejuvenation of a people. The breath that animates the dry bones is symbolic of divine intervention, a metaphor for spiritual awakening and renewal. This aspect of the prophecy resonates with individuals and communities who have experienced a revival of faith and purpose, a transformation that transcends physical boundaries. Furthermore, the prophecy of Ezekiel can be seen as a universal message of hope. It serves as a powerful metaphor for any person, community, or nation facing seemingly insurmountable challenges. The vision assures us that even in the bleakest of circumstances, there is potential for renewal and rebirth. It's a reminder that no situation is beyond the transformative power of faith and hope. As we extend our gaze to the prophetic chapters that follow, specifically Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39, we find the narrative of the Gog, Magog War. These chapters continue the theme of divine intervention in human affairs, reinforcing the message of hope against despair, and restoration following destruction. In conclusion, Ezekiel's vision of the dry bones, when examined through the lens of both biblical scholarship and historical context, reveals a rich tapestry of meaning. It is a narrative that intertwines the themes of hope, restoration, and the divine power, offering a timeless message of resilience and renewal to all who encounter it. As we conclude our exploration, we recap the key insights gleaned from this extraordinary vision. This is not just a story from the past, it's a timeless message of hope, a reminder of the ability to breathe life into the most desolate of situations. We invite you to dive deeper into the mysteries of the Bible, to explore its depths, and to find personal meaning in its ancient texts. Remember, every story, every verse, holds a world of discovery waiting to be unlocked. Join us on this journey of exploration and revelation in future videos. Subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Comment below to keep the conversation going. Share to help this channel grow. Thank you for watching. And, most importantly, God bless you in all that you do.